on July 25, 2014, Partners in Conservation and Agriculture held a native willow and cottonwood planting day along the Navajo River in southwestern Colorado near Cromo. The planting was hosted by two private landowners in the Navajo River Valley, Betty Shahan and Kruger Farms. The community event was funded by Great Outdoors Colorado, or GOCO, thanks to a Riparian Restoration Initiative grant. The planting day was part of a larger effort along the Navajo River to conduct riparian restoration below the Oso Diversion Dam. The dam is part of the San Juan Chama Diversion Project, a trans-basin diversion that sends water from the San Juan River in Colorado to the Rio Grande in New Mexico. The San Juan Chama Diversion Project supplies water for nearly a third of New Mexico's population. The partners in the project included the Chama Peak Land Alliance, NRCS, Rocky Mountain Bird Observatory, Colorado Cattlemen's Agricultural Land Trust, San Juan Conservation District, and the Partners for Fish and Wildlife. These partners worked together to conduct outreach to landowners and community members about conservation opportunities, apply for funds to assist in restoration, and provide design and engineering expertise for riparian restoration projects. The day was filled with hard work, amazing people, and lots of fun. We started by talking about the agricultural and conservation history of the Navajo River Valley. Approximately 9% of the valley is in conservation easement, a tool that private landowners can use to permanently protect their lands while also maintaining a working agricultural operation. Together, we planted more than 200 narrow-leaf cottonwoods, coyote willow, and silver buffalo berry using a stinger, a high-pressure water drill that ensures a moist planting hole and adequate depth. We also used a river table to learn about the structure of rivers and the important role of vegetation for a healthy watershed. In the next two to three years, many landowners along the Navajo River will be working with the project partners to conduct further riparian restoration along 6.75 miles of the river, benefiting species such as the red nape sapsucker and Lewis's woodpecker. For more information, please contact any of the groups that participated in the day. Many thanks to all who made this incredible day possible.